Newly elected RSPB president, Kate Humble, takes time out from her hectic filming schedule to talk about areas of the RSPB's work that mean the most to her and areas where she hopes to make a real difference. I think what I can bring to the role of president is, first of all, I'm not very threatening or scary. But I think my main strengths are that um, as someone who isn't an expert, and I'm not, I'm not an academic, um, I make my living out of asking questions. I make my living out of talking to experts and academics and making them make sense. And if they make sense to me, then I know that everyone else will get it too. Of course everyone thinks of the RSPB as being birds, but the RSPB doesn't think just birds. It can't. You know, if you are going to protect birds, you have to protect habitats. And there's no such thing as a habitat that just looks after birds. So actually, what the RSPB is, in my mind anyway, is an organisation that looks after habitats first and foremost. And that's habitats that then support a whole diversity of life, including birds. The Marine Bill is something that I view as not just important, but actually critical to the future health of our oceans. It's easy for government to um, kind of be a bit wishy-washy over this. It is a contentious issue. It's something that I will fight for tooth and nail to make sure that the Marine Bill ends up being a meaningful piece of legislation that really is going to mean that our seas are properly managed and protected for the future. One of the biggest factors threatening albatross are longline fishermen. You have these boats ploughing through the Southern Ocean with literally kilometres of fishing line trailing along the back with these hooks along them. And by the time they realise it's not a shoal of fish, it's too late, they've hooked themselves onto this long line and they're dead. The RSPB, working with BirdLife International, have come up with um, a brilliant solution to this problem. One of the very simple things that fishermen can do is to put bright coloured streamers on these long lines and it puts the birds off. They no longer think that it's a shoal of fish, they just think it's something weird and definitely to be avoided. So the number of albatross dying in this way is really going down. Now that's the sort of project that anyone associated with the RSPB should be immensely proud of. And hopefully, if that work continues, then we will have albatross for future generations to see. One of the things that can feel a little overwhelming about conservation is that sometimes the problem seems so big that you can't tackle it, you can't do anything about it. But there are some very good news stories. Anyone who spends any time in Mull will inevitably see a sea eagle. I mean, you really will. I can promise you that, hand on heart. That's a remarkable promise to be able to make. Being able to look at our homegrown successes, like the story of the red kite or, or, or the seagull or corncrakes or whatever it might be, is very heartening because it does make you realise that your efforts are not in vain, that things really do work. I really want to push the RSPB's work with schools to make sure that there are funds that allows school trips to happen, to allow kids to go out and do nature walks, to get their fingernails dirty, to get up to their elbows in pond water, whatever it is, to allow them to have a proper outdoor experience, to really understand that our outdoor environments are something to really treasure and something to really enjoy and somewhere where you can just let your hair down and go mad if you want to. Go and climb a tree, go and run up a hill, go and roll down a bank, go pond dipping, go looking at birds, but just get out and enjoy being outside. There is nothing more exciting than going for a walk and perhaps getting a glimpse of deer or seeing a fox skulk away in the woods hearing a buzzard crying overhead.
We want those experiences. And if somehow during my time as president, I can communicate the joys and an accessibility of the natural world to people who think that somehow it's not for them, um, for whatever reason, um, that would be a good thing.